Um, hi, I'm Jairam Kanchala. I work with the Center for Bioinformatics and Computation Biology at the University of Maryland College Park. Um, something I want to talk about today is the file server. It's a system to query and transform um, directly on files. Um, just like a motivation or introduction to um, the tool itself. Um, so uh, data repositories like the roadmap epigenomics or the encode project host a lot of uh, large amounts of data as files. Um, some of the data can comes from um, experiments such as bisulfide sequencing, so methylation data, gene expression, and so on. Um, so given a repository and a bunch of files, let's say you want to calculate, um, like for example, in roadmap you want to, or uh, yeah, in roadmap you want to calculate the difference in uh, uh, a, a differential binding in a particular histone marker uh, for a particular set of tissues. Or if you're looking at the TCGA data uh, for a particular cancer type, you want to calculate the average gene expression across normal and tumor samples. And so the current workflow to do this would be, so you would first download the files, use a computational environment like Bioconductor or some, some other um, thing, and then you would run your analysis, save the file, and then use a genome browser to visualize um, those results. And so our goal was to simplify um, that process. Um, so what we do um, is, so we build this uh, Python library um, called APVS File Server. Um, so um, if you have a limited number of files, you can manually import files, but uh, given repositories have a large number of files, you can write a configuration file. I'm going to show an iPod, a Jupyter Notebook after this. Um, so, you, so that's a list of files that are publicly available, um, and, and then you can uh, define transformations of those files. I, and then you can, um, this library itself wraps everything into a REST API so they can build inter interactive tools on top of this. And we, you, you can use our um, EPIVIS, which is a visualization tool uh, from our group uh, to visualize the data sets. We currently support big wigs, big bits, or uh, any other files that can be indexed with Tabex. Um, I'm gonna switch over to Um, so the configuration file um, looks like this. It, it has a location to where the file is located, what type of file it is, and then um, annotations that can be provided. Um, so the way you can define a transformation is, so the first thing we do is you load all the configuration file as a set of measurements into the system. Um, and then I'm filtering for a set of um, measurements that I want, and then I'm can, you can uh, define a, um, whatever computation that you want to do over those files. In this case, I'm picking all the HDK27M3 markers um, that have signal from the roadmap data set, and then I'm trying to find the difference across uh, the differential binding across those two files. Um, and then you can use EPIVIS to visualize those data sets. Um, just a quick tutorial, this is adding um, the raw signal in the beginning, and then the second track that you see is the differential binding that is calculated dynamically from the files. Um, something I forgot to mention was, so when you define a transformation, it is not pre-calculated. Uh, once you're in a given range, it goes and gets the data from those files and then calculates the, the binding. Um, so you can also embed these visualizations uh, within Jupyter Notebook, um, and then that's just a quick demo of uh, showing you could do that. How do we escape from that? <laughs> So the, the links to the Jupyter Notebook is available online. Uh, we also have another notebook that describes um, the, the library in much detail. Um, if, you're look, if you're also loading files from, uh, from Bioconnector, it has a resource called Annotation Hub. Um, we have an easy to use function to directly import files from Annotation Hub. Uh, just a quick introduction to EPIVIS. So EPIVIS is uh, something that our group uh, built out. It's an interactive visualization tool for functional genomic data. In addition to like track-based visualizations you would normally see, we support plot-based visualizations. For example, if you're looking at um, gene expression data set across different markers or tissues, um, it's much more intuitive to look at them as uh, heat maps or scatter plots. We also implement brushing that links all visualizations by genomic region. Um, the workspaces are shareable. Um, and uh, we also support, we all, our visualizations are built on top of web components, uh, which is a web W3C um, specification. So you can embed them into any framework that supports HTML, um, so they are reusable and extensible. And all the links are available online. Um, 
that's a GitHub repository. The documentation is available there. I want to acknowledge my advisor, which is Hector Corrado Bravo, and Yifen was an undergraduate researcher in the lab that helped us with some of the implementation. I'm also doing a poster, so P31. If you're, work with, if you're working with a lot of genomic data files or uh, trying to build tools on top of uh, visualizations, stop by. Thank you. <laughs>